Hi everyone, it's Michael again, and today I've got another kind of development diary screencast on Venger development. Um, so I'm thinking of making uh, this into a little series. I'll set up a YouTube playlist and I'll just keep putting these down. They're going to be kind of raw, unedited, full of all my mistakes and ums and ahs and all this kind of thing. But anyway, it's a fast way to just impart some information on the kind of things I'm thinking about and developing. So today I want to talk a little bit more about authentication. The last video um, I talked about this new architecture with uh, the support for third party authentication methods. So I showed a Google login and then I thought, okay, so there's another side to this and this is the admin side. Let's say for example, you're working for a company with an existing ID provider, an ID server, single sign on this kind of thing. So I wanted to explore this and see how the new Venger authentication architecture would work with that. So yeah, let's jump over to what we've got. So right here, we've got uh, the dev server running. We've got two users. Uh, we've got the super admin, of course, and we've got a Max Musterman, which is just a demo user, a demo admin. Um, I've set up a role called merchant, which is kind of slightly restricted. They can't change the settings and so on. So this, the merchant role would be something which would be suitable for most of the administrators for the shop. All right, so I'm, uh, I decided to use Keycloak, which is um, an open source um, authentication server. It's made by Red Hat. It's very, very powerful. I don't understand all the features, but I just about got it working by following this tutorial on their website, Keycloak on Docker. It's pretty short. So I've got Keycloak running right now in a Docker container. And I'm gonna now log out here and you'll see something different. Okay, so instead of going to the regular um, login page for the admin UI, it's now sent us out to this uh, Keycloak demo. This is our corporate intranet login page. Uh, and it shows that I'm logged into the, the intranet. I'm going to log out of the intranet and now I'm not logged out. So in the background, that's doing some calls to Keycloak and I'll show you that. First of all, you might be thinking, how do we get out into this page directly from logging out? So what I'm playing with here is a new option. Um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, okay. In the Venger UI config JSON file, which we use to configure various aspects of the admin UI app. Uh, I've added this new optional property login URL. So this allows you to specify a completely different URL where the user will be sent once they, when, instead of going to the, the kind of built-in login page, they'll go to this page. So here I'm sending them to this uh, key cloak login, which is the, the thing that you saw before. Uh, maybe I should make this bigger. Let me get the file tree. Ah, here we go. Okay, whoa, where is it all? Okay, so uh, yeah, the Keycloak auth plugin is setting up a, again, like in the last video, we're setting up a static express server where we're serving this index file. We're setting up a proxy so that we can access it on localhost 3000. This means that the cookie handling is going to work fine in, in the browser. Otherwise, you get cause errors. Oh, Fetch doesn't like to, to let you read the cookies. Um, yeah, so I'll show you this page. This is the one that you saw before, the corporate intranet login page. It's a simple HTML page. We are loading um, this Keycloak.js client library, which is actually served directly from the Keycloak server, which is really convenient. You don't have to install anything. Okay, and then, um, yeah, here's the logic. I'm not gonna go into all the details, but most of it's just provided kind of out of the box by the Keycloak client library. So what I wanna show you is, let me see. Okay, so here's the Keycloak admin login. So I'm, if let's say I'm the system administrator for the corporate intranet, and I'm gonna log into this. And I'm gonna, Let's see, clients, here's my Venger client, which is um, what I'm working with at the moment. I'm gonna 
I think I'm going to add a new user. So let's call the user uh, merchant and give him an email address. Joe Merchant. Uh, let's say his email address has been verified. Okay. Let's save that. His username is Merchant. Let's add a credential. Just a password that we can use there. Set password. Yep. Okay. Good. So, in theory, we should be able to log in as this user now. So, let's go back over to our corporate intranet. And now let's log into Venger. Now, when I click this, it's going to take us to the, 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 the corporate ID server's centralized login page. And I'll try to log in as that new user that we just created, Merchant. And I'm going to click, click Login now. And now it sends me through. Okay, that's cool. And if we look in Administrators, we see it's actually now created a new admin user in Venger automatically right here, got all the details, and it's assigned the uh, merchant role. So let's just have a look how that's done exactly. In the Keycloak authentication strategy, um, again, I talk a bit, a bit uh, more about this authentication strategy in the last video. It's basically exactly the same. Uh, but now we're implementing it Keycloak specific um, functionality. So when we authenticate from the, the corporate intranet page, we send through uh, a payload like this. It's just got a token. This token is called the access token in um, open ID uh, kind of uh, language. So we use that to call this specific URL provided by Keycloak, we send the token as a bearer token and that allows us to then get information about the uh, the user that we've just set up. And we can use that to create a new administrator and user and return that from the authenticate method. So um, it's looking pretty cool. Uh, so now we, we can log in in the storefront with things like Facebook, Google, um, Instagram, whatever. Uh, now we've got a means to handle the back end side of things. So it looks like it's kind of coming together on um, the authentication front, and this should be ready to send out very soon. Okay. Join us next time in this exciting video series, The Dev Diaries. Don't forget to like and subscribe.